Welcome to the JMC Network Newscast. Your quick access to what's going on around campus. I'm Ryan Self. And I'm Kimberly Prather. Rushing officially started last Sunday for the Women's Social Clubs of ACU with the Women's Social Club T. The rush period is a process where clubs and prospective members get to know each other and make decisions about desired membership. The rush period lasts approximately two weeks with one additional week for clubs to vote and for bids to be offered. Hart Auditorium was packed with women from all five social clubs looking to make a lasting impression on potential members. It gives the opportunity for the girls that are just uh, planning to rush, it gives them a chance to meet each girls club and kind of just get a feel for them and to see what they're about, see their purpose and their song and just kind of meet them just to break the ice. Registration is now open for fall 2008. Students wishing to pledge a social club must register by September 3rd. Registration forms and eligibility requirements can be found on the ACU website. With the concern of safety and overall efficiency, changes have been made to the card readers in chapel. Card readers have been moved from stair railings to being scattered on level ground around Moody Coliseum, adding a level of safety that was not present in previous years. Students are, however, noticing more of a backup and a longer wait to slide their cards. Right. It's designed to be a quicker system and so like most things it's going to take a while to work the bugs out but for the most part as long as you turn your card around the right way and don't try to swipe too fast it's designed to take at least 10 cards every couple of seconds so it should work faster. There is assurance however that with time students will be used to the card readers and the process will prove to be more efficient. Turning to other news, the three day back to school grace period of parking anywhere on campus without any consequences is over. Students are now being ticketed for not having proper parking decal on their vehicles. Parking decals ensure that the right cars are parked in the right places on campus, therefore creating a better parking environment for registered students. What a lot of students don't understand about the need for parking enforcement is that um, our parking lots are built to accommodate a certain number of vehicles. And in order to make the parking lots safely uh, manageable, uh, a certain amount of enforcement is needed. The base violation is $20. Uh, they go up from there. Park where you're supposed to park, get here early if it's going to be a problem, and, and buy your pass. Parking decals can be purchased in the depot, located in the campus center, or at the campus police station for $25. That is all the time that we have for today. Thank you for joining us. And we hope to see you around campus.